So for my generation, the thing that set us apart from the generation that came before us was MTV. So, um, and, and Thrasher, Thrasher Magazine. So Thrasher Magazine ha always had tons of, um, you know, tons of music reviews in it. And skaters at the time were like mostly into punk and metal. And, um, you know, Jake Phelps, who's the, um, I'm not sure if, is he, he might still be the editor of Thrasher. Anyway, he's from Marblehead, Mass. I'm from Andover, Mass. Like, it was close by. Uh, and also Mike Gitter, he's from Marblehead too. He wrote for Thrasher. And um, those guys always had like Boston hardcore things going on. So like, I was, while I was still like very like isolated, insulated in my little suburban town, I was skateboarding, I was buying Thrasher. I'm like reading about all this stuff, but then I'm, you know, the skateboarding was like this California dream that was way away, but there's these guys from like 20 minutes away from me that were writing about all this hardcore stuff going on in Boston. And I started to get really interested in the hardcore bands, which, you know, you know, it was like uh, SSD, DYS, uh, Gangrene, uh, Jerry's Kids were kind of like the big first wave Boston hardcore bands, followed by um, like Wrecking Crew and Slapshot and Sam Black Church, which um, in my mid to late teens were like, the bands in Boston. So I knew about this stuff that was going on really close to me. So I took an interest in that, even though I hadn't gone to any shows yet. But at the same time, being the age that I was at, being from like the first MTV generation, I also had Headbangers Ball. So, um, and that continued on into when I first started going to shows. So like from live experience, I'm getting, you know, I've got the skater attitude. All my friends are skaters or BMXers. Um, and then from a live show experience, I'm getting like, these dirty, sweaty basements and VFW halls, punk kind of stuff. But then when I'm not going to shows, I'm watching Headbangers Ball and Ricky Rackman's like, you know, there's some like hair metal and stuff there, but Ricky's like, you know, he's got Slayer on and he's got, um, you know, Megadeth and Forbidden and, um, you know, Metal Church and, you know, all this, all these like, you know, the all the classic Bay Area thrash bands, you know, so I got into like, you know, Metallica and Slayer, just like everybody else. and. Um, I loved that, but that wasn't me. Um, and I loved, um, you know, all like the first few ways of hardcore stuff. And I think like New York hardcore is like really coming of age when I um, when I started getting into hardcore. So I loved that too. And I think a lot of people my age loved both sides of that thing. And I think that we we wanted to merge that stuff. There's also like a prog rock thing, like. You know, King Crimson, Yes, Rush, and even like Voivod to a degree, King's X. Um, you know, we there was a lot of that stuff going on, and we, our generation was like struggling to find our own voice. I think each generation of musicians needs to needs to set themselves apart from the generation that came before them just to survive, and they need to do things that the generation that came before them just doesn't get and doesn't think is cool in order to set themselves apart. And we definitely did that in the way that we merged metal and hardcore. Um, and, but not that many bands in the 90s did it well. You know, Rorschach was a huge influence on me. They did it well. And Acme from Germany, they did it really well. You know, Asuk from Florida, they did it really well. Um, and there was, you know, there was a few other examples, but for the most part, like the metallic hardcore of the 90s was really terrible. And I don't, I don't think Converge is an exception of that. I mean, Dillinger Escape Plan did it really well, but like the stuff happening in like noise rock um, and no wave, I thought was like way better in the 90s than the hardcore was. I think that stuff was way more fully formed. Um, you know, like, um, you know, Unsane was like, they were just crushing in the 90s and Helmet and, uh, you know, also like I was like my favorite band in the '90s was was like was Sonic Youth. Like that stuff was amazing. And I think for me, I was actually probably trying to combine. I was trying to find a way to combine like Slayer, Sonic Youth, and like Black Flag or something. And I think I eventually kind of did. But um, but for me, it wasn't until like Converge found Ben, our current drummer, and Nate, our current bass player, and. Um, which happened in the late 90s that we really started to become what we were meant to be. We had the right group of people that all kind of had the same mentality and, and figured out how to combine all those styles in a way that was, that was its own thing and not just like this sort of cheesy mashup of the, of the things that we liked. Because like, let's be honest, like Slayer is amazing, but people aping Slayer just gets really cartoonish really quickly. And, um, you know, that's, our attempts at aping Slayer weren't cool.